Hey guys, it's Denis Shapovalov. Today I'm going to show you how I hit my one-handed jump backhand. Oh, he's got another. Catching fire here. No, honestly, I was hitting it as a junior a lot, so it really came naturally to me. Definitely you can break it down into a couple parts. So the first step is recognizing the right ball and figuring out your court positioning. So that one was not too good because it was coming in low and fast, so I wouldn't have time to gather my feet, jump, and it's just too tough to, to get the feet around it. Normally I'm looking for a slower high ball, might be a shank off an opponent's racket or just kind of slower inside the court so I can step in while I'm hitting the shot. So the second step is creating space. I'll show you guys how I create just enough space so that I can get behind the ball, have enough time to go forward and jump into the shot. You don't want to be too close to it. You want to have enough room to work with it so that you can actually jump into the ball as you're hitting it. Step three is getting comfortable with the full work. I'm going to show you a little drill that's going to get you kind of started off and familiar with the movement and of course the jump. Starting with the prep, on one foot and just swinging and landing on the same foot and just kind of getting used to doing that while swinging when you're in the air. So I jump, swing and land. Then kind of start walking into it and again jump, swing, land until you're really comfortable with that landing on it and then ultimately you try to do the same motion with the ball. So step four is prepping your take back. Obviously everyone has different technique, different take backs. For me, for example, I have really big take backs, especially on the back end. So when I jump into the back end, I need to have a lot of space. I like to prep it early, but I still take back more as I'm jumping in the air. So I want to ensure that I have a lot of space between me and the ball. If you have a shorter take back as maybe someone like Roger or Grigor, maybe you wanna jump into the ball a little bit closer because you're not gonna need as much room to work with and you can just kind of step in closer, jump, and really follow through. Step five, you wanna get used to the timing. So I have one more drill for you guys that's really gonna get you comfortable with the timing. I'm gonna drop my racket, and I'm just gonna catch the ball. I'm gonna do the same movement, same drill, but I'm just gonna catch the ball out, out in front of me as I'm jumping. So again, it's more in the full work, but you're kind of still familiarizing where the ball is and just kind of getting comfortable with, with everything going around before you actually swing for the ball. Oh, that's too good. If I have the opportunity to go for that shot, I'm gonna go for it. First of all, of course, the, the crowd's gonna go wild. It's a big momentum changer as well. You know, if you hit that shot in a important point, kind of put pressure on the opponent. I just think, you know, we're, we're professional tennis players and, and also showmen. So for me personally, if, if I have the opportunity to go for that shot, I go for it, you know, and I feel like when I actually have the right ball to go for it, it's, uh, it's really effective. 